face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? Then, of course, ooh, welcome to another talkative video from your truly Karen. So, not a pocket topic this time. This is me just spewing out mods that I just generally want to talk about. I really feel I get the chance to uh, promote Pokemon that I do believe are really good, even though they're not in a specific tier. Because there are a plethora of mods that have niches in other tiers, and while they're not as capitalized or used as often, they still has a reason to be a part of that meta. So um, I'm not gonna like throw around in the punches. These are the guys I'm gonna talk about. We're gonna talk about Samurai, Tauros, Empoleon, Hydreigon, and Rhyperior. We're gonna talk about at least why there's is an issue and why there are reasons to use another tier than its tier there are. And like I said here, these mods are not necessarily bad in another tier, but they aren't as used as often. And uh, in the lower tier that they stand on, they are decent. Most of them are really decent or even a top pick but they do well in the other tiers too so that's why I kind of want to shed some light on mods that are well in some regards somewhat forgotten. So right first on the list that I've been listing here is of course Samurai. Samurai is a mod that actually makes sense that it's an NU. It is not as powerful for all sense of purposes but the thing is the reason it's been as effective before in RU is because for not to do believe too long ago, or to believe four months ago, Tarantula was a part of RU. And of course, the natural health speed, with 70 base speed of Samurai, which is actually one of his issues, it wasn't able to check it nor even counter it, of course. So it was usually knocked out rather easy. But things changed, and since Among Us and Tangrov is now out of RU, Samurai things turned out to be quite effective. The reason is, it's a very, very good move uh, or mixed attacker. Without Dubli, 100 base in attack and 108 in special attack, and as access to the likes of knockoff, um, Orca Jet, of course, to render the speed at least, and then we have the likes of Grass Knot and Mega Horn. So, a lot of the things that are the most viable in the tier actually has issues dealing with it. Now, the are mods that outspeed it and naturally, of course, threaten it, but uh, Samura can take a lot of punishment with its natural bulk. And while it lack recovery, it can do really well in a soul fest and even a bandit set. But I myself like to actually use Life Orb Lumberry to get it with Sword Stance. Because it just... It is naturally healthy. And uh, yeah, like I said, somewhat forgotten are you considered the move pool. And um, let's look at the top threats here actually. Kind of just tell you guys how it is. Almamola and Venator are probably the ones that shakes it naturally. Flygon can't really deal with it, Dayenshi can't really deal with it, Dugtrio can't KO it. Uh, there are a lot of mods here that naturally struggle, I do believe Verisian can take it out without a problem, and of course Slowking, even though you have knockoff, is a mod that definitely can take you on. But outside of that, Samurai is actually better than, um, than it was for like a year ago, basically because its tier has been so slimmed down that Samurai, due to its kind of bad speed, still are somewhat speedy in a tier that is extremely slow. So I highly, of course, recommend Samurai to be one of the more, well, preferable one in RU, actually. And now we have probably the mod that I think most people kind of expected in this list, as I've been revealing it, of course, haha. <laughs> but Tauros is definitely a mod that, yeah, while it is one of the best mon, if not the best, in NU because it's 110 speed, a 100 in attack. Not too impressive, but Sheer Force, Soul Set for it, and of course Life Orb. Tauros just is an extremely hard hitter. But the thing is, it's always been in, um, well, outside of course Generation 1, uh, but a lot of uh, Anishimon, sadly, and uh, it just haven't really been able to hold a candle. But with Sheer Force, things kind of change with it. It now has a very, very prominent niche, and that niche is actually to take the capabilities of, of course, its special move pool. Due to Sheer Force and Life Orb, now you get a 60% boost basically in any special attack you go with. To get away, of course, Rock Slime, Sam Headbutt, and Rock Slide, which actually functions the same way a 60% boost without any repercussion. And Taurus does as well. Sadly, it is not a mod that is, you know, perfect for an tier. But it can do well in RU, it does well in UU, it does well in OU. And that's because 
you can ensure that at least it can deal with a possible counter for it. Take for example an OU. There are very few mods that can naturally come in on it. Like say for example people want to use Scissor against this. Oh oops. Flamethrower or Fire Blast. Same goes with Ferrothorn. If you want to use Lando. Oh oops. Freaking Ice Beam. So even though it has you know a presence. Uh, it is easily checked. But with the right moveset it can actually take on well anything that comes in. And that makes Tor so extremely versatile. And really underrated. You know in the league format it's definitely up there. But also, of course, in standard plays where I do believe it does the most work and it does that really, really good. So if you want to have just a change of pace in your tiers and want to try something new or patch a team, Taurus is your guy. Easy patching, uh, you see what you, what you lack and Taurus probably, or most of the cases, can solve that rather easily. So, how about we talk about Hydreigon? Now, Hydreigon is a mod that... Uh, it was naturally crippled by the fairy typing. You mean four times a week. Finally, this mod kinda, you know, got up being easily pushed back. But it didn't really solve the issue with Hydreigon. I do believe Hydreigon is still versatile and flexible enough to survive, even with that, of course, against it. Uh, Hydreigon is not a mod that is extremely reduced in OU. It is a very, very perfect mod in, in UU, definitely. And it still holds up really well in OU. Like I said here, very yes, it keeps it back, but it also has the move pool to kind of take on, you know, the things that matters. So Hydreigon has got somewhat of a bad rep due to that, or rather, people are people. Some players are, of course, pointing it out that due to it being UU, it is only good in UU. But this is a mod that definitely pushed the boundaries. I just say it is just as effective in. In OU, due to its actually niche or unique typing, really, I kind of, kind of want to call it niche, but also what I want to call it niche is its speed of 98 base. It does things extremely well, and um, it has a good physical move pool, it has a good special move pool, and um, the best part is you get to choose which one you want to use because, due to its being a semi legendary, it has a lot of base stats which is really well on it. So, while it is somewhat, like I said, weak to fairy. Outside of that, it actually hurts to deal with, and even some of those counters can't really come in freely without risking a massive hit due to its extremely high special attack stats. And next on the list is a mod that I really, really like to use, Empoleon. Now, Empoleon is a mod that people tend to point out, you know, it's weak to fighting, it's weak to earthquake, it's easy to shake or counter. Maybe, maybe. But Empoleon is also one of the few, if not, you know, barely the only one that actually resists Stealth Rocks and can defog. That's a perk you can't really go without. And of course, it has Stealth Rocks itself, which is even more funny. And it has very, very good defensive typing. While, as stated, it has issues with, of course, the likes of that, and of course, the fighting type damage. And of course, lack of recovery does make Empoleon somewhat ineffective. But the main perk of using Impolion, and the reason you want to use it specifically, is because it resists Steel type, it resists the Draco Fairy type, which is fairly common, and of course water. Um, so it actually has a lot of things going for it. This is, this is probably one of the few mods that actually can come in on a Sumeril, suspecting of course you don't get a superpower to the face. But it, it does that, outside of that of course, specifically, it does that really well. Now you really want to, when you use it in of course though, you really want to have Shuka Berry or Shuffle Berry to ensure that at least the super effective hit does not hurt so much the first time. Some people go with Leftovers or Lumberry, um, but yeah, you can go either way, whatever suits your team really when it comes to, of course, Empoleon. Um, it is just one of those really, really good Marvel pose that just simply works and um, I do believe it's really underrated. I do believe it's because of that typing is so niche. That for some, for some teams it simply works, for some teams it doesn't, doesn't work. It is, it is sadly that simple from time to time. But I highly recommend it. I think it definitely has a spot in the OU meta game, and uh, it does actually really well. The last one I'm gonna mention is Rhyperior. Now Rhyperior is, well, first of all, Rhyperior is one of my personal favorite mods really from all time. So it, it's extremely biased, of course. So uh, I'm only as good as, I, as, of course, the tier makes it to be. But there is a reason it is in, of course, the likes of RU. 
It is having extreme issues with of course grass typing and of course war type. You can't simply avoid that. But outside of that, the defensive capabilities of this mod is just up there. Uh, in Yu-Yu, you can take up a lot of the offensive threats. You can take on, of course, the likes of Toxic Rogue with little to no regard. You can take Octopelion. It just does that role fairly well. The same thing goes with uh, OU, where the defensive typing, while should be noted, Landers is a better one of these two, of course, when it comes to set up rocks and whatnot. But right period, due to having Ice Punch, can actually win the matchup, even with, of course, Intimidating as a factor, because. 130 base attacks is one thing, I don't care. And of course, with a high defensive stat, it just it can take those earthquakes, it can take a lot of punishment. It is a special defense stat to get it with its rather bad speed that makes it, well, a, an imperfect mon. But it does, what, the thing it does, it does probably the best in the whole game. Uh, Mega Aggron is probably the closest thing to it when it comes to filter damage and take on damage. But it stabs together with, of course, its massive attack and defensive stats. Just makes Rhyperior out of this world. And it works in OU, it works in UU. And it works in RU, of course. So Rhyperior is probably one of those mods that I feel are... I wouldn't say forgotten, but it, there is a risk of using this mod, of course. But if you solve it, then this mod becomes extremely powerful. No matter what tier. So, yeah, that is actually my list or my thoughts. Do you guys have a mod that you feel have a niche in any other tier that are way better or at least better than the tier R in? Or they have a niche that is so well implemented in any tier that it actually work? Uh, make sure to course, write it down below. If you want to see more videos like this, please do tell me. Um, these are already easy to make and I really like to share my thoughts. So, thank you so much of course, for watching and I'll see you next video. Until then, take care. Bye.